Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today with my M's Scrap Busters Challenge. That's the challenge run by Melina over at Me Crafty Scrapper, who is the daughter of Miss E, Edith, who is scrapbooking with me. Right, today she's made these cute little file folder booklets. These are absolutely adorable, I love them. Uh, I've been dying to make these all day since I saw this last night and I must have started this video ten times and been interrupted by children. <laughs> I've been trying to do it for about four hours. This time, this is it. If the children come, you will hear me beat them and send them away. Yeah, you just will. Send them up a chimney or something. Right, look at that. How cute are they? Got a little tab here. Yeah, I've done that with my... I've used the same tab punch that Melina's got. It reminded me to use it. I bought this with my buy me a coffee money and I very rarely use it after wanting it for ages. So yeah, and I'll show you how to make it smaller. A lot of you probably already know. So yeah, it's got a cute little pocket here. So I'll be doing a lot of, well, I'll not be doing a lot of measuring, but minimal measuring, lots of ripping and tearing, and it'll be scrappy. I'll just pop these in the pocket. Cute little postcard, a tag and a ticket. Uh, that is part of the paper. I've used my posh scraps for this. My posh scraps that include my Tim Holtz. And this little book here, I don't know how many pages I put in this one. It was quite thick paper this really. I think I put six in. Three, four, yes, yeah, six. And I've just torn them and I like it. Even the top for the tag I've torn. Now this book is in here permanently. Yeah. Uh, if you didn't want it to be in permanently you could put a belly band or a pocket on. Which I might do, I don't know. It's been stitched around the edge. And minimal decorating on the outside. I've just put that little cluster. That's what I thought, that's all that needed. Yeah. So, let's make one, shall we? So, Timmy Scraps, here we come. Uh, yeah, they end up in here for various reasons. The big scraps, my Timmy ones, some of them. I bought a dodgy wallflower paper pad. And the glue came quite far down on some of the pages, so I can't keep them as 6x6, so that's a tempting one to use. That would probably make it this size. I'll tell you what size I made. Molina's were quite a bit bigger. That's 3x4, three by, three by yeah, so I could make one from that. But the little robin would end up on the back, and I don't think I'd like it on the back. So, not that one, there's this one. I think that might make a nice one, you know. Then we could use the other bits for pockets and tags and whatever. I think I'm going to do it. I obviously cut some flowers out of that one. So yeah, I'm not going to delve. Ooh, that one. Ooh, wow. Blue. Ooh. We might make two, yeah? <laughs> oh, never say never. So I'm going to grab my little trimmer. Or do I need my big one? Uh, I'll use my big one, actually for starters because I want to cut the whole edge of that off where I've been punching flowers. I probably haven't got all this in shot but I'm not going to be using it much and I'll tell you how big it ends up being but this is not because that's how big I want it. This literally is because it's how big it ends up being. This has ended up being like four and a quarter, four and three quarters. So I like that. <laughs> So I've got to have that as middle, and I just have. I can't have any other as the middle. I could make two skinny ones, but could I do it? Just do it. Make two skinny ones. Make two skinny ones, and then you'll use the whole piece. Yeah, I think that will be better. Don't take me much to change my mind, does it? So I've just cut that in half. So we know it's going to be about six wide and whatever it were at all. And I'm just going to fold it in half. I'm not going to use my scoreboard. Ooh. Those of you that watch me often know what a big deal that is for me. I've still got a lot of my tools out for making my little prototype. So yeah, this one's going to end up being the same width but a bit taller, which I like. Yeah. So, 
it would be an amazing feat if I managed to do three in one video. I won't be sewing on camera. I've got my sewing machine set up downstairs from earlier on in the week when it were warm. So I quite like having it there. I've done more sewing and it is also getting me a bit of extra exercise going up and downstairs. Yeah. So that's three. Right, let's get some scraps now for the pockets. Can you see me scraps? Have I got some in shot? Yeah. I don't... That's out. I don't want that. Ooh, I use that for the little booklet. I just tore a bit off to use it for the top of that booklet. So that's a good possibility. That... That's not Tim Holtz. I think that's... That's somebody else. <laughs> that's... Oh, don't want that. See what I mean? Another one of those. Yeah, I was very annoyed about that. Too much glue there, Timothy. I'm going to call that a scrappy one. That's a possibility. That's too thin. That's my die cuts with a view. That's a full sheet. Don't know why I've got full sheets in. That's not Timmy, but it doesn't matter if it's not Timmy. Uh, what's that? That's a six inch square. Oh, that's some bits, bits. That might work. Ooh, that might work, even though it's not Timmy. I'm being very grungy with them today as well, putting up quite a bit of ink on. I'm using that lovely inking technique that I saw Cheryl do over at, uh, let me get it right, Ethel Lou's Unique Boutique. Cheryl Wilm. I search for Cheryl Wilm and she comes up. Ooh, that's a bit of stamped stuff. Ooh, that won't go. Hmm, I think that will do me for now. Oh, there, Tracy Fox tags. Oh, yeah, we're going down below the posh papers now to other stuff. Right, crack on. So, we want three inside pockets like that and three tabs. So... Everything that I'm going to rip on one side, everything that needs to have a pocket on the other. I'll check that you can see. Yeah, you can see. We can go over a bit. Oh, that's very blue, that, isn't it? I don't know. Oh, that might be a bit too much for me, that. I might give that one a bit of a miss. Yeah, we're down to two now. I've not got any, anything that goes with that blue. Bit of a shock that, isn't it, when you open it and it's blue. It's like, oh, well, I'm there then. Miscellaneous sails. I like that, how it's got the bit of sail ledger on. In there. I think I'm going to use that as my pocket. And I'm just going to come in and randomly tear. And a little tip Melina gave, and it does, it makes your pocket look better. If when you get to the bottom when you're ripping, just go out a bit. But I can't get it, so I'll start from out a bit. And it just, I don't know, it just adds something. I might have gone out a bit much. I think that needs some more at corner off, to be honest. Oh, that one looks better. I like that. Yeah, so let's get my inks out. I've got my Distress Ink in Vintage Photo and I've got my Oxiding Walnut Stain. It's only because I've got, I have one dauber for dark Distress Inks and one dauber for dark Oxides. And I don't have another dauber. But it's fine mixing them. If you're not adding water, it doesn't really matter. They react differently when you start adding water and things. As just an ink to stay as an ink. It's quite, it's perfectly fine. Oh, let's round some corners. We don't want the offence of those corners, do we? So we need to round that one. I'm going to use my smallest, my little four millimetre one. And I'm going to do them all. So plenty of inking to see on this video. What I'll probably do is I'll ink one 
And then when I just pause to go and do my sewing, I'll link the other one off camera. Not uh, spending too long watching me ink. Yeah, this I watched one of Shell's videos and saw her inking like this. It was quite deep in with the vintage photo. Put that, that side woman. And then just on the edges with the walnut stain. And then a little thing what Melina did, which is one of those things where you think, why didn't I think of that? Right, you see this now? That's the inside. She even folded that a little bit and put some ink on there. Why have I never done Why have I never thought to do that? It's too obvious, that. But that is me all over. I quite often completely miss the obvious. Oh, if you watch yesterday's video where... Yeah, I did some inking, then I were, it ran too much when I put matte medium on. So what I did is I just altered what I were doing. Uh, someone in the comments kindly said, if you try a workable fixative, then it should be okay. And I thought, yeah, of course it would. And then someone else asked, what is a workable fixative? Now, I assume a workable fixative be something that will fix the layers of ink so they're not going to run or bleed or interact with the layer you put on top and it needs to be something that will then take other layers of ink or whatever media you're putting on and somewhere in the back of my mind I'm thinking I'm sure you can use airspray for this and I remember having one of those teeny tiny little well I think it cost me 25p at time cans of airspray in my craft stash just for doing that and yeah I then googled it looked it up you can use hairspray for that whether you can use hairspray and then work on top I don't know but the examples given in what I was reading were they were using gauche paint or gauche I don't know how to pronounce that I've never heard anyone say it and yeah they were then wanting to do more work on top and they used hairspray so I might give that a whirl I think my can of airspray is down with all my stuff from my jelly plate which <laughs> I've no idea what state my jelly plate is, is in it's been in the fridge for about a year and I've not even touched it it's, I don't know what state it's in I know it takes up room in the fridge and it annoys kids but hey ho can't have everything can you right, I'll put a little bit of the darker ink on that so I know that were a lot of inking but oh, isn't it worth it Grunge City, right, make sure you don't get this upside down, lady, because you're good at tricks like that. And I'm going to stick mine with my art glitter glue, which, if I remember correctly, is just here on my right-hand side. Or maybe, maybe it's on the floor. Maybe it's hanging from the ceiling. One never knows, does one. Not when you're talking me. Oh, two ticks found it after looking everywhere and anyway it was on the floor under my chair I really need to learn to look there first because that's quite often where things end up being that's in my way now so I'm using my art glitter just putting a teeny tiny bit around the edge it seems to be even again now I've got rid of the really warm weather we are lucky I've been watching news at yeah, I can't believe the wildfires you ladies are having over in the US. It's just shocking. And even having wildfires in Siberia. Oh, yeah. And there's me moaning about like a bit of heat. Like a thump. Right, so that's that. I really love that pocket. I really like it. Now, I want to make a tab for there. So... What do I want to make it out of? I've got... That's, I think that might be a Tim Holtz scrap. <laughs> look at that. That is a t Look at that. Totally different colour. Can you see? It's the same paper, obviously different print run. And yeah, one's darker than the other. You can see it most on that bit there. But I think that's going to be perfect for my tab, isn't it? Right, this tab punch. Um, I think Melina said she'd watch Rachel at Roxy Creation show you how to use it. 
and I forgot to admit when I first got mine it baffled me well, I've got a bit stuck in there so just get a piece of paper I think it needs to be at least two inches wide something something like that and I am going to use my scoreboard for this because I'm not really good that is, that is two inch just short of I'm not good at uh, folding down the centre of a narrow strip of paper so I'm going to do it with that I'm just going to score it at one yeah, it would just shorter too because they don't meet perfectly burnish it I've took my plastic cover off the bottom of this punch all together I just don't it's neither use nor ornament chocolate fire guards come to mind Right, I want to punch it here out of this bit. So I'm putting it in with the open end towards the bottom. And we're going to line it up so that we've got a teeny tiny gap between the top of the punch and the edge of the paper. And that will give you the tab that is joined. I want to get as far over here as I can because I am very frugal with Timothy Alt's papers. I'm sorry, I had to look at that myself. Right, and punch, and there you go, you've got a tab. Yeah, I quite like that. Now, the ones where I made my tab a little bit smaller, I'm going to go down this end and do it. So I put it in, and I just put it so far across, can you see? I sort of grab it a little bit with my punch, and then you can still move your paper a little bit to line it up. That's how I find it easier. And then punch so I've got this like half tab I'm then going to go in which side <laughs> sometimes it baffles me which way I need to do this do, 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 do. is it that way no it's that way yeah I'm then going to go in yeah again just squeeze it a little bit to grab so then you can adjust it to line it up I think I'm yeah that's going to be better can you see that's then going to be the size of my tab? Ooh. There we go, we've got a teeny tab. Once I've made them shorter, the other thing I didn't like was how deep that was. So I just come in, string on my scissors, and I've just cut a little bit off mine, like so. I just thought that matched the size of these little file folders a bit better. Yeah, so that's how I got that one, if you can see. Yeah, so that's how to do a little one. However, <laughs> I don't know how long I want it on here. So I think I might live with it full. I think I'm going to keep it full size on here. I like it. You know, with this being much taller. So yeah, I'm going to keep my full size one. And let's ink. Go right in again with me. Vintage photo. I mean, you can use any tab you want. Uh, if you don't have a tab punch and you want this style of tab, but you do have the envelope punch boards either size. I did do a video a while back showing you how to make tabs and little file folders like this with the tab already on using envelope punch board. I mean, I've made little file folders like that before, so I thought I'd have a go at it. Melina's way, it looks cute. I like the look of it being the tab added on sometimes rather than the tab that is part of the little file folder. Depends what mood I'm in. Right, that's nicely inked. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that on. And make sure I get right way up, I'll be upset with myself. I'm not putting loads of glue on because I'm going to come in and sew it. Whee. <laughs> I spoke to Shale today. She said she'd watched my video yesterday and she was counting how many times I said we. I've said it a lot apparently, I had no idea. It's just one of them daft things I do. Wee. <laughs> oh, I like that, I like it sticking out a bit more. There we go, I'm happy with the placement of that. So I'm going to bob downstairs now and I'm just going to go and sew all the way around the edge. Yeah, nothing more fancy than that. I will also 
snip my corners, ink my edges and come back with that one done as well so we can do the insides of two. Okay, two ticks. And we're all sewn. Just need to snip. That's the other one. I chose a piece of that paper. I made the pocket and the tab. Just sewn all the way around the perimeter. Same with that one. Just finishes it off, doesn't it? Just gives it that bit of something. I just need to snip these off. Oh, Melina did some, uh, up in the corner, she did some reverse stitches and it looks so good. I just didn't think to do that. After I did first one, I remembered it and thought, oh, I'll do that on my next, but I've just sewn two more and have I done it? Have I yet? I'll remember one day. It'll end up on a project somewhere. Right. So, we now need to make two little booklets. Now, this was dead easy for me. I'm just using my scraps. In fact... I'll let you into a little secret. I cheated a little bit on that last one. I just got one sheet and ripped it up because I wanted it all in uh, stripes. But I am delving into my scraps. I just wanted to crack on and get this video done. But I'm going to do this one out of my scraps. Melina put all sorts in. I want to use my tea dyed scraps up because I've got such a lot of them. And they're all in weird and wonderful shapes and sizes. That's probably enough. And yeah, I've not. I didn't even use a tear ruler, I just creased and tore some of them. Didn't use a ruler at all, like that one. I'm just going to crease it there. Then I'll crease it there. And I'm going to tear. Very rough and ready. Which I'm really proud of myself for doing. <laughs> I can get too hung up on measuring and stuff. We need to take some off that edge, it's a bit wide. That'll end up in the bin. So that, that's a bit wide on one side. May get two out of this. I could have a shorter one and a longer one. We shall see. That may be a bit long. Well, if I do that about there, we should get two. I tend to like to put my not rip ones at top because it tucks into the thing a little bit better. Yeah, that'll do. Like that will be a nice one. So some are ripped and all edges, some aren't. It's just basically what I've got. I'm not being fancy with these at all. These are so unfancy. Ooh, look at that, it's some of my doily dyed from whenever. Yeah, I'm going to put a little crease in. I need some kind of line to rip down. There you go. Do another one. Probably, put, I'll put at least six in again. Couldn't tell you exactly how much. I'm just going to do that one and rip them at the same time. Yeah, I really enjoyed the scrap busters last week with the little scrappy, yeah, patchwork pockets. They were so cute. That's just too long. Just rip that off. Sorted. <laughs> Bits everywhere. Right, I'll count my pieces now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I want three more. One. That was terrible. There's ripping wonking, then there's just really going a bit too far, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> there's wonking, then there's donkey. I don't know why we that wonky. It was it was some kids' TV thing in the morning, I think. Wait, Ant and Derek. Is that what it were? SMTV, Anton Deck. I'm talking UK telly here. Sorry, US ladies. Um, yeah. And it, I don't even know what the wonky donkey thing was. So now I associate anything wonky with a donkey. So yeah, be careful what you let your kids watch, people. <laughs> yeah. I don't, don't know why that is. Right, I've now got enough. I'm going to shuffle them. Shuffle them. <laughs> We're going to play a 52 card pickup next. No, we're not. I just want to just 
Shuffling weren't occurring, were it? Got a bit of doil on each side. Why has one got more than other? One, two, three, four, five, five. Did I count that at all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would just. Whoa. Don't trust me with your money. Just don't. If that's my counting skills. Right, I mean, shot win both. I think I am just. It might be disappearing off top. Oh, got cotton everywhere from the sewing machine. And I'm just going to get another piece of scrap to make a top for these. And. No, that's too light. What's that? That's a piece of. Um, that's a ticket. That will go nicely in the pocket. There you go. Here we go. This. Do I like the stripes? Do I not like the stripes? I, I just don't know. It's really difficult. I think I like it better up there. So let's do some ripping. I'll get it down there. Yeah, I like that. Oh, well, that says article sold and that says sold too. I think I want that for the top of my little books. So I'm then going to come in and just fold it randomishly. Yeah, that'll be okay. Yeah. Then decide I don't know which is going to be top and which is going to be bottom. That's going to be top. So I'm going to rip that there. And again, there. I, thought, I think Melina did hers a bit different. I think she sewed them. Yeah, I didn't. I went all staplified. That's another one for what dictionary? Staplified. Mm -mm. That should be okay. I'm going to come in and ink it. I'm not going to bother inking back because it's going to get stuck in. I didn't bother doing a pocket. In fact, let's tell the truth. I forgot to do a pocket or a belly band before I went downstairs and sewed it. Yeah, let's not fib. That's one. Get a little bit of walnut on the edge. I'm loving this double inking technique. Thank you very much, Mrs. Cheryl. And then I'm just going to tuck those in the top. That I am happy with. Well, that, was that one supposed to go in there? Two, three, four, five. Yeah. What you like? You left one behind. There we go. Do you know I'm thinking that may be a little bit too long? Tell me it's not too long or wide. It is. I need to cut some, rip some more up there. That could have been a disaster. That really could have been so bad. Oh. Not a disaster, a little bit of a mistake, let's say. Uh... Yeah, my papers are displayed out. I'm even on, on camera. Can anyone see what I'm doing other than me and cat? I've always been sat sulking on landing. She were really loving this warm weather, living it large outside. It's cooled down a bit and she's like looking at me, it, looking at me as if it's my fault. Does it look like it's my fault, Phoebe? I don't think it is my fault. Right. Stop faffing with this booklet woman. Just staple it and I've done. There you go. I'm done. Da -da. And on the back, I'm going to put some double-sided tape. Uh, yeah, took a leaf out of Melina's book on that one. I've got so much double-sided tape that I don't use. But I really think because I've got the staples there, I'm going to have to use my extra super strong ones. Yeah. I mean, when you've filled this little book up, whoever gets it, just tear it off and put something else there instead. Just take it out and stick another one in. It's that simple really, isn't it? It's not going to go falling anywhere. I'm going to put a smidgen of glue on. Because that. Uh, I put the back, made the back on that pretty wide. Take that back in off. And this glue is very sticky, woman. So when you've placed it, don't go moving it again. Wee. 
I know Melina went, really went to town on hers. She did some decorating above the pocket. I've just gone for more of a little simple style and I quite like it. Ooh, does that even need anything else? Maybe it could do with a butterfly, do we think? Could we just stick one butterfly on it, see what happens? Well, do we have any butterflies? Do we have any? Have they, been, have they flown away? I used them yesterday. Butterfly tubs. Here we go. I will reach you. Oh, I could have gone for a Tim Holtz butterfly. Oh, let's get Tim Holtz snippets out. They are scraps. Of course they're scraps. Oh, what do you think to that one? How, was, how does that one look? <laughs> bit, bit too large. Oh, I like that. In the Tim Holtz snippets. Oh, yes. I've done it again. I've gone butterfly. I don't know if I like that with it having too much white round edge. What else we got? Is that... Some of these aren't Timothy, are they? Oh, I love the red one. Is that what we need? A pop of colour? Oh, I might do. I might do. I might even stick a little one up on that. Oh, that could be good. Do you know one of these days, in fact tomorrow, I'm going to get all the rest of the little butterflies out and stop getting them out, not using them and chucking them back in. Because I'm spending, must be a good 20 minutes a week, fishing butterflies out of this box. And oh, just think what I could make in 20 minutes a week, instead of fishing butterflies out of the same box and then throwing them back in. It's, oh my god, that's fishing isn't it, that is fishing. That literally is what fishing is. You spend all that time fishing for a fish, then you throw it back in. Wow, now I know how men feel when they go fishing. I'm sorry, Dave. <laughs> I know, I, if there are any other men watching me, hello. I know one definite, we've got a definite Dave. Yeah, so, yeah. I do apologise, Dave, if I caused any offence to the whole male population in general but yeah this is fishing i'm not saying fishing's pointless but maybe i am right bright butterflies on this one oh i really like that in there oh and that oh yeah i'm not I'm, I'm not impressed with that sometimes though tim you've got an old dollop of white on that side and note on that side and this is where my little bit of a perfectionist really does come out and annoy me in particular so if you could recalibrate your die cutting machines whoever manufactures them snippets I'd be muchly appreciative that looks a bit better that's a bit dodgy around his tail is it even a tail I don't know it's got a name hasn't it that bit on a butterfly I've no idea is it just its abdomen for some reason I remember that its nose is its proboscis who knew why I would remember that random fact? I'm just going to dull the white down because I don't like it. Before, oh, I think he needs a ticket under him, doesn't he? And I may put that on, I may not. Mm, I don't know. I like that stamp. That looks good. I'm faffing now and I'm well aware that I'm faffing. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the stamp on and then the flutter by. Because I like it. That's the right way up. That's the butterfly. Just little bits. I have got a box full of ready-made bits to look through. Now I don't want anything up there. I don't think I want anything on there. I like the minimalism on here. I do. I like it. That, my friends, is done. I'm calling that one a day. We'll just spend a bit of time decorating this other one. So, one, two, three, four, five. Hopefully we'll get the notebook done a bit quicker than I did the last one. That was rather ridiculous. Oh, I'm going to put that fancy 
dialy one at the front. I think. Yeah. So where's my other piece that I wanted to use? Here it is. I'm going to measure this by the book this time. By the book. Rip it from bottom where it's not got a crease. It's much easier. I do like to make my life difficult sometimes. Right, there we go. Get some income. But yeah, these are so cute. I think I will carry on making some of these. Because they're handy to have. Well, they're, all these things we're making are handy to chuck in a junk journal, aren't they? But I don't know about you, but I make things. And then when I'm filling a journal, I bypass them because I like something else better. And then you're like, mm, what else shall I put in this journal? Because <laughs> you've filled it with all your most favourite things. So when I get something see something and that is in the most favorite things category i just need to make some more and i think this is one of those times yeah that's fine i mean you can make your little notebooks however you want like i said i've done mine different to melina but i'm quite happy with them i did have a few little ones ready made that i'd, but I'd done them with straw paper or not I don't fancy the colour of straw paper with these. I'm just going to put two rows of this on. I know it doesn't need that much. There you go. I'm the kind of person who'd use no nails and nails. I really am. It's really not going to fall off wall when I've put it up. Take the backings off. Not too near that. We need to be able to let it fold. There we go. It's a bit wonky. It's straight enough. It's straight enough. I'm quite happy with that. It's really cute. I just want some bits and bobs to pop in here now. I'm going to look in here while I'm while it's open. This one's very butterfly. Oh yeah, lovely butterflies on the front again. So I think we might use one butterfly to give this one a little pop of colour. And I think that yellow one might look nice with this blue. Yes, it does. What's that? It's just another one of them cut apart type cards. So we've got that. And I want something a little bit lighter, preferably. Well, it would be nice if it had butterflies. Ugh, that's a zoo. I will fish them out for you. Oh, look at that one. Moths and butterflies in black and white. I'm going to use that instead of that. And then I'm going to perhaps pop a field label in. And another one with a bit of colour. I'm rummaging off camera a bit here, aren't I? I could put a flower in for the butterfly to land on. We could just... Yeah, you can just have that pink poking out. Right, this one's die cut a little bit better. I can actually live with that one. But I just need to dull the edges down a bit. And I'm going to pop in there again with another little ticket. So I've not used any of my ready, ready, yeah, my ready-made clusters. Is that a Timmy ticket or a one I've cut out? I have no idea. It's hard to tell sometimes when you've got to mix them all up. Ink the edge. I've no idea which way that goes that way. I'm just going to put the ticket and the butterfly on. That looks nice. It's a cute little addition to any journal. I'm loving some of these things Melina's coming up with. She did mention, she did, again, if I had a memory, whoa, what I could do if I could remember what I were, on earth I were up to. She mentioned where she got the inspiration from this from. So if you bob over to Melina's, Melina's will be linked below. Yeah. She said she did do it different to the lady who inspired her but yeah it's over there right there we have it and again i'm doing nothing to the front of that that does not need it sometimes they just don't do they so we've got the flowers uh the moths and the butterflies 
yeah I hope you enjoyed that I really enjoyed it and yeah if you've not seen enough yet bob over to Melina and have a look at hers if you click on the M's scrap busters hashtag you'll find everyone else who's taking part in this challenge as well and you can have a look at what they've been up to if you want to take part on any social media YouTube Instagram just put the hashtag M's scrap busters and Melina will be able to see it because she loves looking and she's a lovely lady so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time bye